Hello guys, uh, just continuing our last lecture that we were doing. I just want to request you first of all kindly please like and subscribe the channel. I am requesting again so that you know you just hit the bell icon so that you can get all the updates with you in no time and you're gonna get the news that okay this is what we have uploaded and you know this will help us. Alright, so it will help us and you actually. All right, let's start with this one now. So we have discussed political relationships already. We have discussed the, I think, military relationships as well. All right, moving on, we have a very important relationship that we need to discuss, which is something that, you know, people, whenever we talk about relations, this is the first word that comes in our mind. That is the trade relations, that how are trade relations of one company with the other one. So it's very important to understand that what are trade relations when it comes to Pakistan and Sri Lanka relationships and again if there would be any terms that are difficult for you to understand I'm, I'm going to try to explain those to you okay all right so guys I really want you to just quickly listen because you know we have these very crucial important slides why I'm always telling you the meanings and everything before because I need to make sure that you people understand everything because uh, you know you need to be confident enough that you know each and every term and even if you don't know while you're just looking at my slides and maybe if i've missed any term i'm just gonna suggest you that you will if you find any term that i have not touched or you're confused about just go to google and google it because google tells you and gives you the best answers for every questions that you have so that helps you to understand the things and if you're gonna find for example two countries signed a free trade now what i will do is i would go and search about free trade i will just search what free trade is and what does it mean when two countries sign a free trade agreement so this is something which is very crucial and important and i really want you all to focus on this all right so trade relations sri lanka's pakistan business council was established in 1991 so it was a mutual uh, you know business council so it was sri lanka and pakistan business council that was established in 1991 what does a business council means the strategies to develop the business you can see that how you know trade relations in 133 percent increase it shows you it, it's just a ballpark figure and just trying to tell you that how much the relationships were prospering that more than 100 percent of the trade relationships were building now so sri lanka's pakistan business council was established in 1991 again a very important thing because they used to sit together they used to see what are the prospects of the business even together how can they do business together and you know how can they make the business better and easier for both of the countries pakistan and sri lanka all right and then they used to make sure that their um, you know their business strategies are well planned and if they have any ideas in mind for the betterment of their countries they used to do discuss those together as well then uh, then two countries signed a free tra trade so there's a free trade agreement that was signed between pakistan and sri lanka i've already discussed it in the previous lecture so free trade agreement in June, agreement was actually made in June 2005. Th this was an agreement which gave a lot of boost to the relationship of Pakistan and Sri Lanka's relationships because you know the free trade FTA basically rep represents a short form of free trade agreement. Why I'm telling you this is because some people they get confused that what FTA means. So FTA is not FATA, please. FTA is the free trade agreement that was made in June 2005. Okay. So FTA provides 100% duty concessions on 206 commodities from Sri Lanka. So if they are going to 206 commodities will come to Sri Lanka. Free trade agreement provides 100% duty, 100% duty concession, which means there is 100% off. All right, there is no tax, nothing at all. What does that mean? What does that indicate? We just discussed it in the last lecture. So we discussed that free trade means that there is no tariffs, no quotas, no barriers of trade, basically that are imposed on the trade so one can export and import with full ease and according to their need and usage all right moving on bilateral trade has increased by 27 percent now what does bilateral trade means so this is something which is very important these are the terms that i need to tell you all right so bilateral when you're talking about bilateral trade you need to understand bilateral trade is the exchange of goods between two nations promoting trade and investment. So, Business Council was made also because of that, right? 
So bilateral trade is the exchange of goods between two nations promoting trade and investment. The two countries will reduce or eliminate tariffs, import quotas, export restraints and other trade barriers to encourage trade and investment. These are the things. So this bilateral trade under the FTA, it was increased by 27%. Second largest trade, is, uh, second largest trade partner in South Asia of Pakistan was Sri Lanka. Colombo's imports from Pakistan in 2019 accounted to US 370 million. So imports from Pakistan. What was those? What were those imports from Pakistan? They were Pakistan's exports. Can you can you imagine? In 2019, it it amounted to US dollar 370 million. So Sri Lanka was providing all sorts of goods to Pakistan, right? And um, and Pakistan was giving it to Sri Lanka. So Sri Lanka was the importer and Pakistan was the exporter. So that's how they were saving like around US, uh, sorry, they were basically importing from Pakistan in 2019. It amounted to, the total value amounted to US $370 million. Then we have recent agreement between two nations. Now we have discussed, we started from, you know, uh, 1948, we went to 1971, we went to 1991. Trade Relations Council. Now, how are the relationships? We also discussed 2019, right? Now, moving on, let's discuss recent agreements between two nations. So, cooperation in tourism sector. All right, what are the what are the some of the agreements that they have made with one another? Can you see Prime Minister Imran Khan sitting with uh, the Sri Lankan Prime Minister, right? What are they discussing? They are discussing cooperation in the tourism sector. They need to make sure that their the relationships between these two countries is stay cordial, and the co there's cooperation in the tourist sector for both the countries so that tourism increases. Tourism is a very important sector of Pakistan. If you just see Pakistan, right? So the cooperation to you know support and develop the tourism sector, increase relations and cooperations between the investment boards of both countries. So increase the relations and cooperation between the investment boards of both countries this is again a very critical point um, I, if someone didn't understand it let me just read it again for you so that you're well aware of what it's trying to say <clears throat> just give me a second so the relations and collaboration of international centers for climate uh, okay now we're doing the above point increase relations increase relations and cooperation between the investment boards of both countries so when investment boards meet they mean that it means that they're going to plan some investments in one another's countries how does it benefit the countries right the foreign exchange currents and not only this employment gets created so investment has so many benefits the gdp increases so in increase relations and cooperation between the investment boards of both countries so relations and collaboration of the international center for chemical and biology in pakistan the industrial technology Institute of Sri Lanka relations and cooperation between the Industrial Institute of Industrial Technology of Sri Lanka and a university in Islamabad. So there were these universities were made in Islamabad and so were in Sri Lanka. What was it? It was basically relations and collaboration of there was there were collaborations. That's the word that was I was finding for. That was the word I was looking for basically, right? So collaborations um, of the International Center for Chemical Biology. In Pakistan, with the Industrial Technology Institute of Sri Lanka, so there was Industrial Technology Institute of Sri Lanka that was made in Pakistan. Relations and cooperation between the Industrial Institute of oh, Industrial Technology of Sri Lanka and University in Islamabad. So vice versa, there were universities that were made so that one another the com companies can benefit, and they, this was this is what the current relationships are. Then we have an agreement in the relationship of Lahore School of Economics with the University of Colombo, right? So there was a big agreement. This is a big step that recently has been taken in like two, three years. What that step is? So that step is that there's agreement on the relations of Lahore School of Economics with the University of Colombo. So it's very important for you to understand. That's why I'm revealing it for you. The agreement on the relationship of Lahore School of Economics with the University of Colombo. If they're going to have this relationship, they're going to have each other's study, each other's materials, each other's stories in their books as well. So this is what was most important. And they wanted to you know, learn from that. They wanted to teach the students about the cordial relationships that they had with one another. 
and they used to make sure they wanted to make sure that you know people are happy and you know the um, the Sri Lankans they know well about Pakistan Pakistan knows well about Sri Lankans and everything is sorted and they're sure of what they know and what they don't know so so all so basically they, if there will be collaboration with one another it will help them to boost the relationships this was one another important topic moving on this very important slide that i want to go through with you it's super important you can see three uh, three four five sorry five points with it and there are so many terms that you might get confused that what these terms refer to so i'm going to do it with you one by one i'm going to make sure that you understand it well uh and you know we're just then gonna end the lecture so involving relations again children in south asia why do we say that having good relationships with one another uh pakistan and sri lanka that they have previously or have now they can be a game changer in south asia what are the lessons that they should learn so lessons is the next next lecture that i'll do with you but uh what are the game what is the game changer element in south asia so pakistan support pakistan support in the international arena or china support is very important so when pakistan is supporting in international arena that okay i am helping a country all right or china support why was pakistan getting support because china and south asia recognize that how pakistan is supporting sri lanka so pakistan will support china as well right so there there was a prestige there was a reputation that was being developed that pakistan is really helpful in pakistan like the way they helped them they will help all the countries as well so this was one reason that pakistan support in the international arena gave pakistan a space and importance to be helpful to someone all right then there was possibility of veto of china and russia if un makes um any preparations on tamil war crimes so there was a veto is basically now many of you must be thinking what veto is so veto is a constitutional right to reject a decision or proposal made by law making body all right so neither state was given a veto over amendments to the act for example so a constitutional right to reject a decision or proposal made by the law making body so it was a possibility of of veto of china and russia if un makes if united nation they made any preparations on tamil war crimes all right against the sri lankans so there was a possibility of veto of china and russia right so it was this was something that they're not going to support tamil war uh, like go against the tamil war crimes because they would know that they have a possibility to get vetoed right so again this is done then we have sark sark is another very important thing so sark i'm going to do sark with you as well you should know that sark is basically the south asian association for regional cooperation and it's a regional intergovernmental organization and geopolitical union of states in south asia so its member states are for example afghanistan bangladesh bhutan india maldives you know nepal pakistan and sri lanka so all of these they just discuss on what they discuss about the south asian association of regional cooperation that as we don't have to think as countries we have to think as regions so sark countries could have stronger role as per the sark charter so there was a sark charter uh and it would said that we need to be helpful to each other and stuff like that so pakistan proved that by being helpful to sri lanka and sri lanka proved that by being helpful to pakistan so this is how they develop these cordial relationships and good reputation the sark uh, agreement and charter as well it is important to regional unity in development again it's not about bangladesh or pakistan it's about regional unity in development so this was the regional community that was being discussed joining cpec and getting unnecessary financial and technical assistance can be a game changer so if you're joining cpec and getting unnecessary getting sorry necessary financial and technical assistance it can be a game changer if you so south asia every country had part sri lanka had a part in cpec as well somehow right so if pakistan is going to be supportive towards all the countries cpec will be beneficial for them as well so they will get financial and technical assistance so it was indeed a game changer for pakistan or and um, you know south asia as a whole and sri lanka as a whole so all these countries they benefited because once you're thinking about you as a region all right then you know that you have to protect your region all right and this is something which was giving them very uh, sound knowledge that they have to protect each other and this is a regional thing and not a country thing so that was a game changer and i pray that the relationship between pakistan and sri lanka stays like that i hope this lecture was helpful um uh, thank you very much bye until next time 
and if any questions please let us know thank you very much have a wonderful day